Hello from St. Augustine! <laughs> And we are here at the infamous lighthouse. Infamous, haunted, haunted everything. Yes. So in this video, um, we're actually going to show some stuff that we did when we were ghost hunting three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. That we've just so been. Trying. It might be a long video. We don't know. Yeah. yeah, but we've been trying to figure out how to how to play it for you guys, and now we have an excuse to do it and show you our evidence. If there is any, there is. <laughs> but guys, we are really excited. Um, this is not the largest, but it is the most famous. Mm -hmm. um, it is way up there. Can't wait to climb that. <laughs> yeah. Um, the other one that we did kicked our butt, so I'm sure this is going to be just as bad. Uh, if I remember correctly, they're not as steep, but yeah. who knows? I don't know. It's, yeah. We're excited. Nervous. So scared. if you're excited, subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Hit the bell notification. Share with your family and friends. We're trying to get monetized by the end of the year, so please help us out. Yes, please, please. And guys, we really do hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for tuning in. So the first building you actually go into is called the Keeper's House. They do have arrows pointed on the ground. Wow. We used to do the ghost hunting tours here all the time. We, they let us come in here. We did a session because that's when we got stuff in the kitchen and in here. I remember it clearly. You have better memory than me. Yeah, because this is open. Oh, yeah, okay. We went through a different door now. Because like, we heard something. Yeah. Like the key too. Yeah. It may poke it. This is cool. Obviously, when we come here at night, it's completely pitch black. Yeah. So again, the air is on the ground. Interactive programming is closed due to COVID. Can we all say boo at the same time? All right, so when you do your ghost hunting tour, you actually come in through this door right here. And then they tell you some stories and then they have you walk down these stairs. So when you come here, what they do is they they, sit, they, they stand right here, and then they tell you some ghost stories and things that people experience here. We actually put a chem light that you get on that wheel, and it actually moved by itself. Now this floor is supposed to be kind of like the sea floor. So these are where the Keeper's House cisterns, the open spaces that are now depicting ships at sea were originally used as cisterns to store rainwater. <coughs> oh wow. Wow. That's a gold coin. Wow. So during your ghost hunt tour, they bring a male and a female. They put you in the seat and they put them right here in the middle and they expect you guys to have some sort of paranormal experience. Amber was one such subject. It was pretty spooky. So, 
we were sitting, I was sitting like right, so one here, one here, I was sitting here. We were in pitch black, super dark, you can't see anything, you can't hear anything, but you can feel stuff. Like I felt something either come from this side or this side, come towards me, towards the back. Put, either put their hand on my shoulder or on my back. And, and that scratch. Yeah, and then like, it was just a really weird feeling like somebody was just watching. And this mannequin's there, so beware of that. So when you walk in, through over there, when you walk in and you don't, and it's pitch black and you see this, it scares the crap out of you. Like right now my heart is beating fast. So, during the tour too, you go upstairs and they do, they have like a classroom set area and they tell you some more stuff. So I think Augustine Lighthouse is probably one of the more famous lighthouses, but it's not the tallest. The one that we did over at Ponce Inlet was actually the largest one in Florida. But this thing is really, really cool. And again, it's, it's supposedly haunted. All right, so if you remember from our first video from the Ponce Inlet Lighthouse, so they would actually have to take this of oil all the way upstairs. <laughs> could you have to, could you be able to carry that? Twenty two hundred steps. And if it cool if this cools off by time they get back up there, they have to come back all down and heat really heat it. It's crazy. So, here are the warnings, 219 steps, fear of heights, check, respiratory conditions, check, back problems, check, well, let's go, just kidding. Oh, so we spent 28 bucks to come here. And we're journeying through. So you say so far. So this tells you everything you need to know. This is what's really cool. Going up 24 calories. So this lighthouse is only 165 feet. Five. I think we're on the fifth floor, maybe. Somewhere around there, but this is the view. I will say, if we keep doing these lighthouse videos for you guys, <laughs> we're gonna be, we're actually, be in shape. We'll be in shape, especially with the mask. Come on. Help us. Wait till we get to the top, Brian. <laughs> Cats can't fly. It was a hundred thousand dollars to construct this. Wow, it's crazy. And this is floor six. Here's a view. We're, to the top. we're on like floor eight, I believe. This one's a lot smaller, so we're getting closer. Here's more views. We're gonna go. Great soul, sir. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Sh well. This is pretty crazy. Again, sorry for the breathing. This guy's crazy. So the trick is hug the lighthouse. So we need to get.
Go ahead. You guys are on the railing. That's like. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that? No. Oh. <laughs> when they look like ants, that's that's way. Yeah. That's, could you imagine going to that school right there and be able to see, mm -hmm. like this lighthouse every day? Are you gonna do it? <laughs> well, we've braved yet another lighthouse. So now we gotta find another one. Amber says no. <laughs> So World War II, during War German U-boats patrolled the shipping lanes. I'm not really big into the European side of the World War II. I've always loved the, the Pacific side. That's pretty cool. We've never been this far back. And because this is probably one of the most famous lighthouses, a lot of people are here taking photos and doing photo ops and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty neat. Right, this is the World War II exhibit, and you can just get a big whiff of old. Look at that uniform. It's not much different from what I wore. Kind of. All the 20 buttons. Yeah. True story, guys. That's 15 buttons that go around right there. If you gotta go, you better plan ahead. And then they have something for uh, what they used to call it, the waves, which I can't remember the exact name for it, but it was women for the Navy. Because there's a constant breeze right here. That's from the AC on that side. There's right. There's a brick area here. Can we take green light and move? Here, I'm going to put mine in then. Over here. I'm going to see. Okay, I'm going to see. Can you do it faster? Good job. Can you make it stop? Can you move both those lights left to right?
It's dark, so it's really hard to see. Hey, was that you guys? Our legs are wobbling, so we're in the car. <laughs> yeah, that it wasn't as bad as the other one. Yeah. But it was a good workout. Definitely. Really good workout. It was cool. I love coming here. We've been here about four or five times already. Yeah. To the ghost tour. They're still doing them. They are. So that's a good thing. Right. Um, one of the things that we really enjoyed coming here, because we used to live in Gainesville, and so we drove, I think it was like an hour away, so it wasn't bad. Um, now we live more than two hours and it actually took us three and a half hours to get here because of traffic, but um, it, This place is pretty awesome pretty pretty stinking awesome. Yeah, there's I liked a lot, it a lot to do Like the same people we saw from the old jail cell. They were actually in front of us again here Yeah, so I think they're doing a lot of this stuff too today, which you can get done, right? Yeah um, because We were here maybe an hour mm -hmm. and then the other place was two hours So if you have half a day and if you did a trolley on top of that. Mm -hmm. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by and making it this far. And please help us get monetized. I know I've been saying it, but I really, really want to reach, reach that goal. And I know that you guys will help us. It's about our fan bams awesome like that. Um, please keep leaving comments. We love seeing them as well. Mm -hmm. So we really appreciate everything. And we'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye.